all right moving on to set number three this is actually one of the easy mechanical sets where you don't have to think too much but yeah this is one set where a bit of calculation is required so let's take a look at what is happening here uh Cyril is an avid traveler he planned to spend his vacation on the hills on a sunday he starts at 9 a.m he started from his home in his car tata nixon etc etc of manali which is 5, 560 kilometers away from his home he also decided to check the mileage of his car during this journey as it was long journey so he took some uh, data points okay uh, this is the data table from 9 to 10 his average speed was 75 and the gear he was going throughout the hour is 4 and this is how the table is given so you have average speed and the gear at which you are going now the information says the mileage of the car in any hour is given by 13 to 1 minus k where there is a formula for k so k is given as s minus m modulus by m where s is the average and m is the ideal speed for that car and this m is given by this so for gear number one two three four five six the m values are like this it's 10 then for gear two it is 25 then uh, uh, 40 for gear three 60 for gear four uh, 75 for gear 5 and 90 for gear 6. Also, Saral lives in Haryana where the cost of fuel is 90. So, till 2 o'clock he was in Haryana. So, till this point, till here, the cost was 90 per liter. After that, he was in Himachal. And the cost from here onwards, the remaining is 85 oil everywhere, 85 per liter. So, now we need to actually find out what is the mileage what is the fuel used and what is the uh, cost that is the table for us so first let us calculate the mileage so for me to get the mileage first i need my k value so if i look at the k value for 9 to 10 my k value for 9 to 10 is given as s minus m now s is 75 so i'm writing the mileage here uh, M I L mileage. So it is first K I, I need. So K will be 75 minus uh, 4 at gear number 4. What is the M? M at gear number 4 is 60. 60 by 60. So this is 15 by 60, which is 1 by 4. So my K is 1 by 4. So my mileage will be 30 into 1 minus 1 by 4. So it is going to be 30 into 3 by 4. So this is 90 by 4. So the mileage is 90 by 4, which is 45 by 2, which is 22.5. So the mileage will be 22.5. Now this way, you need to find the mileage. So K for every hour and therefore the mileage for every hour. It's a pure calculation based thing. So nothing much to think about. If you take one more example, if I'll just show this for the second hour, you are looking at the K value as uh, 85 minus 90 the modulus because the sixth gear ideal speed is 90 by 90. So this is 5 by 90. Uh, now my mileage will be 30 into 1 minus now 5 by 90 is 5 and the 5, 5 eight the 40. So 1 minus 1 by 18. Okay. So it is 1 minus 1 by 18. Therefore, I can uh, basically say this is 30 into 17 by 18. So you will get your answer 30 uh, 30 into 17. Uh, yes, 30 to 17 divided by 18 will end up being 28.33. So this is you can use a calculator for this on screen calculator if you if you are not quick enough, but that's okay. So this way you have to fill the first mileage entirely. So I'm quickly writing down the numbers. I'm not calculating everything uh, because I showed you two examples. So these are the mileage values. You will get everywhere. Then you have again 28.33. Then you will have 20. And then you will have 30. Now remember, average speed is 75 means in the first hour, 9 to 10, he is traveling. Distance traveled is 75. So what is the fuel used? Fuel used. Fuel cons consumed. Fuel consumed. C O N S U M E D. Fuel consumed is given by distance by mileage, which means for the first hour it is 75 by 22.5. So how much is this? This is 75 by 45 into 2. So uh, 5 goes 5 nines are 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 25. So 3 threes are 3 fives are. So this is 10 by 
three. So the fuel consumed, if I write down the fuel consumed, uh, let me write down the fuel consumed. I'll make a column here and write down. So for the first R, the fuel consumed will be 10 by 3 liters. So remember, there's a formula. Distance traveled by mileage is your fuel consumed. So if you write that for everything, you're going to quickly get the fuel consumed like this. 3, then you'll get 2.5, then 4 by 3, then 5 by 6, uh, 57 by 17, a very odd number, then 5 and then 3. Once you get the fuel consumed, you can find the cost. So what is the cost? If you write down the cost here, cost is number of liters. This is liters, remember. Liters into 90. So 30 by 3 into 90 is uh, 300. Then for the second one, 90 into 3 is 270. Then the next one will be 225. Similarly, the next one will be 120. And the next one will be 75. But now remember, the fuel cost is 85. So it is 85 to 57 by 17 and 17 goes 5 times. That is why you will be getting uh, a nice number which is 285. And the remaining three will be four, uh, remaining 2 will be 425 and 255. So 85 into 3, I believe 3 is 240 plus 15, yes, 255. So this is the entire uh, structure for you. This is a complete structure for you. Now let's take a look at the questions. Which R, did the car have the minimum mileage? So mile, mileage is minimum in the R that's 20 value. So 15 to 16. So that is option C. Very simple. What is the total fuel cost for the complete journey? If you look at the total fuel cost for the entire journey, you're supposed to just add all of it. If you add all of it, how much will you get? You quickly do this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 17, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 35, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Is it 26? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. So this is, uh, uh, how much was it? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 plus 7, 18, 19, 26, 28, 29, 30, 33, 34, 35. So this is 3, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 55. So that's your calculation. It's basically calculating quickly. The answer is option B, 1955. Then the next question is in which two hours did the car have the same mileage? So you have to look at where is the mileage same? So you can clearly see that the mileage is same in, um, where is the mileage same? Yeah, 28.33 same as 28.33, but we have one more 24 and 24. So 11 to 12, it is same and 13 to 14, that is 24 each. And it is also same from 10 to 11 and that is this value, these two. 10 to 11 and 14 to 15. So 11 to 12, 13 to 14, 10 to 11, 14 to 15, both of them are your answers, which means you can see 10 to 11, 13 to 14, 10 to 11, uh, sorry, 11 to 12, 13 to 14, 10 to 11, 14 to 15. So both of them are correct, hence option D. The last question in the set, from 12 to 13, is Saral had used gear four instead of gear three. So let's look at what happened from 12 to 13, correct? We are looking at 12 to 13. So what happened from 12 to 13? First, let's understand that. So 12 to 13 is this. His mileage was 26.25 and the fuel consumed is 4 by 3. Fuel consumed is 4 by 3. Now, if he uses gear 4, what is the mileage? So mileage for gear 4 is 35. That is the average speed minus the ideal speed for gear 4 is 60. So 60 by 60. This is my K value. So how much is this? This is 25 by 60. Uh, 5 fives are 5 twelves are. So this is 5 by 12. So my mileage, uh, mileage will be 30 into 7 by 12. So 4, 3 goes 4 times, 3 goes 10 times. So this is 70 by 4 or 35 by 2. My mileage is 35 by 2. So fuel consumed. In this one hour, fuel consumed is distance. Distance is 35 by 35 by 2. So 35 by 35 by 2, which is 2 liters. So 4 by 3 liters, I was consuming. Now I will consume extra 2 liters total. So extra value is 2 minus 4 by 3, which is 2 by 3 liters. Now what is the cost of the fuel? 
90 rupees per liter. So 2 by 3 liters into 90 will be my extra cost which is 60 rupees. So the cost increased by 60 rupees that is your answer. So if you quickly go back to that question the answer should be increased by 60 which is option A. So this is I would say uh, easy to moderate level not really difficult it's purely calculation. So there will always be one set like this search for it you should be getting your marks. Moving on to the last set. 